truck driver, 29, charged after semi-trailer crashed into pub before bursting into flames, leaving one person critical and five others injured. The driver who stole a fertilizer truck, pictured, and crashed into a number of cars and buildings before it burst into flames has been seen leaving hospital under police guard. It comes after the truck driver, who is reportedly 29 years old according to NBN News, stole a truck and erratically drove it through Singleton before the truck burst into flames. Debbie Anderson, 59, was on her way to work but was stuck in standstill traffic for at least 10 minutes when she saw the semi-trailer coming towards her. The truck was seen driving erratically through the main streets as it hit a number of buildings. The 29-year-old man left hospital with a white sheet covering his body before being loaded into the back of a police van. Ms. Anderson said the stolen truck crashed into a car which crashed into her car, throwing her sideways and all she could see was smoke. The horrific incident took place in Singleton, about 200 kilometers north of Sydney. Well, this is the exact spot this allegedly stolen truck has erupted in a huge fireball after unleashing terrifying scenes down one of the main streets of Singleton. And one of the people who witnessed these scenes of carnage yesterday was the manager of the Horse and Jockey Hotel, Daniel Storey. Good morning to you. Morning. Daniel, you were on the phone at the time. You looked out the window. Describe what you saw. Uh, straight out, the, as I walked out the front door, I saw there was a, a pile-up of cars on one side and then to the other side saw the smashed cars along the telegraph poles and into the mark. Just absolute scenes of chaos yesterday, wasn't it? Describe how were the residents and locals reacting to the scenes that were unfolding? Straight away I saw a lot of, uh, of the local residents going to help other people. Uh, I expected a lot worse where, than what it actually was, uh, but w immediately I saw about eight police cars that were already on the scene after chasing the truck, uh, and then from that everyone was just doing what they had to do to try and make sure everyone was OK. You said you were pretty rattled after witnessing all of that unfold yesterday, weren't you? Yeah, it's not something I'd expect in Singleton. Um, just running a pub in the morning, I thought it'd just be a standard normal day. And then from that, to see what happened and unfolded, the carnage and then the fire, um, it was quite a shock. You've seen from that vision that we've been running on the Today Show this morning, just the extraordinary efforts of the locals rallying together. You can see people yelling out, has anyone got a rag? Can someone give us a hand? Were you just blown away by the efforts of everyone coming together to, to help people in need in that moment? Yeah, I think it's what you'd expect from anyone. Um, people, people do sort of get together in, the, in those sort of issues, um, make sure that they, anyone who they can help, they'll try and help straight away. Do you think this will have a bit of a, a long-lasting impact on the community of Singleton? Yeah, it's not something we're going to forget. Um, make sure that everyone that we know here who was affected by it, a lot of people have seen it or uh, know someone that was affected. So. Daniel, as you say, just absolutely incredibly lucky that no one was killed given those scenes that we saw here yesterday. A 29-year-old Ronnie Johnson, he has been charged overnight with a string of serious offences. Carl, this morning, he'll front Singleton local...